Hello and welcome to Let's Play Blood and Zelda Skyward Sword. In the last episode, we got two art pieces and an extra adventure pouch. And uh, we kind of broke the pumpkin guy chandelier. But that matters not. In this episode, we're going to go back to the bazaar because we returned to Skyloft from Farron Woods. And we heard some guy talking about monsters, something like that. Let's see if these guys know anything about it. Dovis is a lover of food, which is why he's next to the restaurant. Hi there, I hope you're pressing too whenever you need help. What does this guy say? Talk to me! Hey hey, seems like you're on the road to success. How about I buy us a beverage? Thanks! There's a good lad, cheers! That's the stuff. There we go. Let me give you some information you might find useful somewhere down the line. The Night Academy, you and your friend produces some first class laughing riders. Keep your nose to the grindstone and you might find yourself soaring through the skies and protecting the good folk of Skyloft too. Don't know if you've met him or not, but the rescue knights save anyone clumsy enough to fall off Skyloft. Only the Night Academy's seniors are invited to join the group. They're the best of the best. You might just have what it takes to join them, but I don't think it'll be easy. No slacking, you hear? Guess I should tell you my grandson's one of them. Heh heh heh. Yes, his grandson is part of the Ninth Academy. Anyways, we're going to ignore that. Um, we're actually going to kind of have this guy. Hmm. What should we have this guy do? Nothing. That's what. Um, we're going to go to this guy who looks like he has something new in stock. Ah, you're quite lucky as I have a new item just in today, friend. It's a splendid iron shield. Look at the extra craftsmanship. It steals your breath away, doesn't it? Um, it actually it does look quite cool. I don't think you can find this just in the game. I think you actually have to buy it. So, we're going to buy him. We can actually move this guy around. Look at that. Uh, get out of my way, Mr. Sir. In the corner, please. And now we're we not going to look at his head bob in close motion. It's much more durable than a wooden shield. I'm happy to report it won't burst into flames. Won't protect you from electricity, which could come as a nasty shock. Yours for 100 rupees. It's a lot of money. But I suppose we should buy it. Aha! Thank you for loyal and continued patronage, friend. Taking liberty of placing your purchases in the pouch. Wonderful. So now that we have our iron shield, we can actually put our old bannon shield away. But I always like to have a backup of each shield. So I'm going to keep it. Um, I'm also going to... Hmm, should I fix it? No, I don't need to fix it. What are you saying? What the was it? I don't even know what that means. <laughs> and fortune teller doesn't have anything. No one else has anything important that we need. Uh, should I infuse this? Uh, yeah, I should, because I actually have eight hearts right now, so I'm going to infuse this really quickly. Well, I guess you can't re-infuse your potion if you use it once to, you know, have a double use. You just have to use it again. Hopefully, we, 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 we don't even need to. So, let's try to keep our hats on straight. Because Link does have a hat. A very cool knight hat. That flows in the wind. Um, let's see what there is to see in... The Knight Academy. Yes, even though we have a shield and a sword, we cannot, of course, use them indoors. That would be so rude. Why would you even think about doing that? Man, when Groose gets sad, he's down right miserable. He's always- Oh, I have to do this voice. He's always in the dream of sulking, and when he does come out, he gets angry at everyone for no reason. Even me. The way I hear it, you're the one responsible for Zelda going missing. This is your mess, so you better fix it. Look at those excited eyes. Yeah, Groose is apparently depressed. There's Fledge. We'll see where Groose is. Colin and Stretch, those are those two buddies of Groose. And Groose. Cleanliness is next to nightliness. Keep her sleeping torters tidy. Yeah, of course, it's next to Groose's room. Classically. What's he up to? Oh, Zelda, where are you? Hey, Hotcha, don't think I don't see you flying in all the time, all the time. I know what you're up to. You're trying to make sure you can find Zelda first. But it ain't gonna happen. Oh, this is the worst. Yeah, he's, he's depressed. But, uh, we're not gonna deal with his depression because we are a good friend. 
That's why friends, that's why guys, when your friends are depressed, do not try to cope. Oh jeez, a helicopter out to my house. My house. Hopefully you cannot hear it. Anyways, um, we can go up here. I don't think there's much else we can do besides talk to Groose. There's a Dr. Alon. Karane. Zelda. Karane is the uh, girl that is with Pivot sometimes. So we can't open Zelda's door. It's the only door that's locked. Even Karane's is open. I mean, who cares about Karane's? It's all girly. I mean, look. Angry birds. How girly is that? Yes, anyways, and a cat. Uh, and... Pots. Fancy pots. Anyways, uh, we can't check anyone else's cupboards because that would be so rude. Yeah, we can't do it without permission. <laughs> Who would do that? So, what we need to do is... Take a bath in the bathroom. I mean, what? I wasn't doing anything... mischievous. Anyways, we do need to go inside this house. I do believe. I hope. Please. Anyone home? <laughs> no one's home? Whose house is this? I demand to know. Kukil's house. Yeah, this is the... This is the place. I guess not. So it's actually wrong about what I was thinking of. We can't do that quite yet, but we can sit on the podium. I, I guess. No, we actually want to put the Emerald Tablet back. The ruby tablet, sorry. And just like we did with the emerald tablet, a beam of light will shoot from the goddess's heart. I think that has some actual symbolism. Into the clouds to reveal a red light tower to the surface below. And Phil tells us, Master, I have confirmed the location of a second opening in the cloud barrier. It is located in the skies to the northeast. This opening will allow you to access a new area on the surface. I suggest you fly there as soon as you complete necessary preparations. Yes. Now we can go to the person's house that I was thinking of. And actually, uh, don't store in the comments on it, but I know I missed a goddess chest in... Farron Woods. I don't know why I missed it, but it was uh, at the end of Skyview Temple. But right away we'll get ambushed. Kukio, Kukio! Where art thou, Kukio? No. <laughs> where could that child have gone? Oh, Kukio, where did you go? What will I do if she's been kidnapped? <gasps> oh, Chris. Let's do like an operatic voice. It's like, oh! Yes. Well, perfect timing. You haven't seen my Kukil, haven't you? Cookie who? <laughs> nope. I... I see. I fear the worst. Please, Chris, won't you help me look for her? I've been looking everywhere, but I can't find her. Now suddenly she's all happy? I've asked everyone I could for help. And a few people have said she's been spotted with some unknown person with a scary face. Someone else said they see her carried off by a monster. A monster! She must have been kidnapped. She's so cute and friendly. Somebody must have just walked off with her. Fine, Kukio, please, please. It breaks my heart to think she's somewhere out there crying. Please, Chris. Fine, you got it. Thank you. The Night Academy should be proud to have a student like you. Please, find my daughter. And quickly. And we have to find her, Kukio. And she has like a faded... Uh... Word dots. That just means that if we need to, we can come back to her to see what she has to say. But we know what we have to do. We have to find Kukio. And to do that... We actually should ask around, and we find someone. Did you hear? A child who's been playing in the grave mart went missing. The grave mart? Can you believe it? Do you really think there are monsters abducting children in our little town? I do. I don't know, actually. Nothing phases you, doesn't it? A child just vanished from our little village. What? I still want to talk to you. I just don't think there's a monster. What? I have to believe you to encourage conversation. What's the chance she was dragged up by a monster? Hooray! Let's well, not be ridiculous here. This monster business is going a bit too far. Oh. Now that they mention it, there's an old man who lives near here who's always ranting about hidden monsters here in Skyloft. Everyone knows he's a little loony, though, so no one takes him seriously. You want to know where the old man is? I imagine he's the Lumpy Pumpkin to the east of here, as usual. You need to fly your bird there, of course. And yes, 
this is the game's way of making you go to the Lumpy Pumpkin, getting that heart piece, doing that side quest, starting that side quest, I should say. But uh, we already know who the old man is because we talked to him. He's the one who's uh, sitting across from the apparently good-looking man, and we had to go there. So I will cut inside the, the Lumpy Pumpkin as my bird does the bird splits. Woo! No crash landing. And just like that, here we are. And now this man has something to say. Look at that double forehead. It looks like... I have no idea what it looks like. You might have that global look that says you might take an old man's rambling seriously. So tell me, do you believe in the Skyloft monster? I shouldn't even call it a monster. It's a demon, I tell you. But no one can say for sure because no one's seen it and will tell the tale. Woohoo. You know how come I'm telling the tale that no one who's seen it is still alive? Is that it? Yep. Yeah, well, I saw it, but I was able to escape by the seat of my pants. I was saved by my cat right reflexes. Any regular person would have been, would have, wouldn't have lived long enough to scream. But you've just been sitting here the whole time with your poncho. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, I'll saw the thing, I tell you. There's a great big tree in the cemetery. I walked by the tree in the middle of the night, and I saw it hit the gravestone nearest the tree, and the gravestone lit up. It pushed the gravestone and the door to the sword side opened up all by itself. Wow, you saw all that? And I wasn't there? It's pretty detailed. The monster then went into the shed and then it closed the door behind itself, which was ex unexpectedly polite for a demon. It was the most terrible thing these old eyes have ever seen. If you're smart, you'll stay clear of the cemetery in the middle of the night. Or if I'm stupid... I'll sleep in the person we're trying to save's triple bed. And walk to the cemetery in the middle of the night. Yeah, we're just gonna ignore what the old man said, because he's old and crazy. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Do you honestly believe him? Not me. I'm not that foolish. Maybe you're just a little foolish. Oh, there's bats at night. You know, fancy with us now. Well, no no match for us. Either way. No evil cats. Evil, 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 evil cats. No. Bad evil cat. As opposed to a good evil cat. Okay, let's just keep our skyward strike, skyward striked. And let's be sure we don't see the monster. Ah, shoot, 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 shoot. Oh, I forgot about that. There's one right here. Ugh. Evil two. So as the old man said, we had to hit one of these gravestones with a skyward strike, which is, in fact, this one. Or we just have to hit it, and it will light up. Then. Yeah. We have to push it. And apparently, somehow, that opens the shed. Do you know what that means? That means that crazy old man, or no, the monster, can use a skyward strike. That's crazy, man. Some of these uh, gravestones have rupees, but they're really not worth checking them all, because most of them don't have anything. So let's go into the shed. Oh, no! Ho, 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 ho. Ho. There's a lot of there. I'll try to grab onto it. Anyways, um, we are going to have to stop things here before we go into the creepy shed. Eek! Yeah, uh, this game is pretty eat ten enough, guys. Remember that. So, we're actually going to end things here. So, I thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And next time, we're going to go into the monster pedophile's house. See you guys. Then.